morning. Ah, welcome to a daily dose of joy. Carving out this little quiet moment in our mornings together. In solidarity, starting our day with our microdosing tools, choosing to optimize the positive neurotransmitters in our brain. And today we're going to use the whoopsie daisy tool. Because <laughs> Lord knows I got some whoopsie daisy stories. <laughs> so um, you can also use this as like a laughter flow and you know, just choose to laugh, get a giggle going while you're listening. Um, and it's really to give your mirror neurons a chance to play with this microdosing tool. And then hopefully you can take it into the world and either share my whoopsie daisy stories with, you know, I heard a friend, a story from a friend kind of thing, or um, giving you inspiration to find your own. And the idea is to just laugh more at life. Life's going to have wobbles and whoopsie daisies. And we don't want to be priming our brain all day long with startle, adrenaline, upset. Um, and so we are actively choosing a different path with whoopsie daisy stories. And so this morning I was thinking of kitchen whoopsie daisy stories. <laughs> because yesterday, <laughs> yesterday after, after a daily dose of joy, I was in the kitchen making some breakfast, talking to a friend on the phone, and I was thinking, oh, I think I'll do whoopsie daisy stories tomorrow, but what whoopsie daisy stories do I have that have happened lately? I mean, it like put that thought like, oh, I need a whoopsie daisy story. And then poof, <laughs> I lit something on fire. <laughs> Ask it is given. <laughs> Here's this, ho, 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 I lit something on fire. <laughs> and she immediately starts laughing. <laughs> you know, she's one of the OGs, the original gigglers, because she has been using my whoopsie daisy stories for years, and like her brain immediately goes. <laughs> I'm sure she could tell that it wasn't like dire by the sound of my voice, but. <laughs> She's like, yes, yes. And I'm like, just a minute, I'm putting out the fire. <laughs> so we're laughing. And what had happened was I was chatting with her on the phone while I was making what we call English toast, which is toast in a pan. Um, so I was putting, um, I had you know, a stick of butter in this little paper wrapper. And it was down to the, like this last sliver of butter. So I had the paper, oily paper wrapper. <laughs> I was waving it over, basically an open flame. No, a, a cast iron skillet. But, you know, it just waving this oily piece of paper was like kindling. And somehow the heat from underneath the pan caught it and it just pff, started burning. <laughs> Luckily, a diminutive kitchen, so it was like stove to sink. <laughs> it was a rather easy maneuver, and I doused it. <laughs> but it was like, whoopsie daisy. I mean, <laughs> I asked for a whoopsie daisy, and there it was. <laughs> so life happens. They happen. And my, ah. Uh celebrating that my startle reflex is not what it was in days of old <laughs> and it immediately went to the humor of it um let's see what other kitchen whoopsie daisies um in the last week or two i was in the kitchen with charles my son helping him get ready and i was i have a little milk frother I love matcha latte. And so I was making um, matcha and I was frothing some milk. Or I thought I was frothing some milk. I had been scooting around the kitchen making his breakfast. <laughs> and he, sorry. 
please understand he was talking to me I, I, the orange juice and the milk were right next to each other i and i looked in the frother and there was slightly frothed orange juice <laughs> I came and showed Charles. We both laughed. Laughed. It was a definite kitchen whoopsie daisy. I was like, how did I? I get the, our cartons for each were very similar that week. <laughs> you do think, like, how did that happen? I frothed some orange juice. Whoopsie daisy. <laughs> Luckily, it didn't go into my mate. Okay, let's see. In the other. And well, this one's a bit. This one's puppy. Puppy is not always uh, <laughs> good behaved. So we were in the kitchen and I was um, doing some training of letting him be in the kitchen while I'm preparing food and cooking. He's doing great. He's sitting over there, um, kind of like in his spot and. Uh, then I, um, <laughs> I go and look at him and realize that he has gone into off some low pantry kind of shelves and he's gotten into the pantry shelf and found like a box of broth <laughs> and just out of my eyesight has like poked holes in it with his little sharp puppy teeth. <laughs> And he's so contented because he's sitting there watching me and then he's periodically licking this box of broth. <laughs> like he's invented his own treat dispenser. <laughs> just like, oh, whoopsie daisy. <laughs> Kitchen whoopsie daisies. Oh. 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 Let's take three gentle breaths in solidarity with our intention to choose joy may today surprise and delight us and I'm off I don't know if you can hear the sort of siren call of a puppy <laughs> I love this time with y'all thank you I'll see you tomorrow